Okay, we're gonna prep a uh, under ridge double glass 16 mil insulated unit. So we first start by peeling the buttons. I like to peel the sticker. Sticker usually goes to the inside, but on this one it's a clear clear, so it doesn't really matter. It only really matters if if it's a low E or different film. So then we're gonna take our H's. Um, this one has a slider on top of the ridge, so it doesn't need a top H, but we need the bottom H, so we need to glue in some setting block. And I think I'm gonna call this the bottom here. Give the H a little pinch. And then you set up my suction cups. Put them in the middle of the end and the bottom. And with a size like this, I'd recommend this being a three person job. Um, and I also strongly suggest you guys walk it through, do a practice run. I mean, you can even cut a piece of plywood and try it that way before you uh, even put put this in. Um, so now we're ready to go. So off to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna install a 16 mil double glass unit under ridge. So first we peel our foam. One uh, good way to prep to make it a little bit easier on you is you can spray this foam with some soapy water but it won't stick on you when you're trying to put it in. And then once the soap dries off, it sticks just fine. Do it this way. Okay, you got top glass? Got it. Okay, we're gonna roll it. Okay, we're in. Now we just want to center our glass between the screw tracks. We're looking really good there. I love it. And now we're going to cap it off. Okay, now that that panel's screwed off, we're on to the next one. Okay, we're gonna glaze the under vent piece of glass now. Um, the only difference between uh, the under ridge and under vent is that there's an H at the top. Uh, both of the long parts are faced towards the outside. We gotta make sure we have an H on the top on this one and the lip is facing the long side towards the outside. Okay, flip. Going. Big. In back. Are we good? We're good. Big helpful key in glazing double glass is a lot of communication with each other. Um, it can be a little bit intimidating at times, so we just always make sure I have the glass. I have a hand on the glass. So when we cap off the top, before I set the cap, I'll put a blob of, of uh, Pro Glaze right where this H meets this slider. And that's just to, just to alleviate a leak point. We want to make sure these H's are tight down to the gutter. And once Greg's done up there, he's going to make sure that that H is tight up to under the vent. We're good. We're good. Perfect. On to the next one.